I'm Dr Charlotte Barlow and I'm a lecturer in criminology and my research is broadly within the area of gender and crime so I'm particularly interested in female offending and co-offending and women's pathways into crime uh, and I'm also interested in work um, surrounding violence against women and girls. Um, so some of my more recent research involves analysing media and legal representations of co-offending women and I've also recently engaged in a research project where I conducted live life history interviews with women who have co-offended with a male partner and I was particularly interested in exploring how that relationship may or may not have influenced their um, offending behaviour and possibly their reasons for offending in the first place. Uh, and I'm also more recently involved in a research project which explores the policing or police responses to non-physical domestic abuse. So particularly following um, the recent criminalisation of coercive control, for example, uh, I'm interested in how police officers respond to non-physical uh, domestic violence. I'm Dr Gary Potter, Senior Lecturer in Criminology at Lancaster University. My own two areas of research are drugs, drug dealing, drug use, drugs and crime, and also green criminology, so environmental harm as crime or as a cause of crime, in particular poaching and the prevention of poaching in the developing world. Research-led teaching is something that we're very keen on in the law school and in criminology. Um, all of the staff here are research active, um, we are undertaking research projects, publishing, and that feeds directly into our teaching. So students have the opportunity to take uh, modules and programmes that are uh, designed around spe specific research that members of staff are doing. So you're taught by specialists in their area. Um, and that can be brought into the classroom through discussions with your lecturer but also by the reading material and really the advantage as I say of having members of staff who are specialists in that area teaching on modules that they have often designed around what they're doing research wise. One major area of my research has been on the links between child welfare and youth justice policy and practice and in particular on the experiences of children in care and care leavers in the criminal justice system. There's a number of policy tensions and contradictions here. So we tend to find that children in care, those in foster or residential care homes, tend to be regarded by the state as children in need, as vulnerable children in need of welfare and protection, right up until the point that they come into conflict with the law. At this point, traditionally, they have been treated first and foremost as offenders, and the focus then by society has been very much on their punishment and control. Research that I've been involved in has included interviews with young people in prison, with care leavers on probation and with a wide range of practitioners and key stakeholders within the criminal justice system.